Let me start by saying congrats on your movie. I thought you guys did such a great job. Um, and I know there's, there's a lot I want to talk about, but ultimately um, no one will have seen the film yet who is watching this. So how have you actually been describing the film to people? Oh, great. Um, it's, uh, it's a portrait of a you know, romantic relationship in turmoil, uh, I would say. Um, and it's an intimate drama where they, you know, this young couple played by Amber and Taylor um, go up uh, and try and uh, go up to the woods uh, for a weekend and try and, and, try and work, work it out, try and figure out a way to save their failing marriage. The thing about this is you guys, um, scripts like this don't come along that often in terms of uh, really like like getting in there with characters and stuff. So I'm just curious for the two of you guys, um, what did you actually pay to be a part of the movie? Our souls. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. Uh, well, it was during COVID. So I think everyone, directors, actors, everyone alike in the industry kind of, accepted that we might not be working for however yeah. many months it was going to be. I know other films that were slated all got put on hold for everyone. And when something came along that was viable to make, and also a script like this, I've been saying it reads very much like a play. It's kind of, there's so much meat on the bone for actors that you just want to sink your teeth into it and jump in. And with Steve leading the ship, I think we are both so excited. Yeah, it was very, yeah. I mean, that experience, I think we were really lucky to have such a cool group of people. Um, because like Taylor said, I mean, everybody who, all of our friends who were like doing cool things we never get to see, that we never get to work with at all, um, were available. So it was kind of, it was like a very unfortunate world circumstance, obviously, but like professionally, it was really cool to be able to like come together with all these people that I think we've all wanted to work with and we really enjoyed being around. So, um, that was, that was actually a really wonderful, like silver lining of the experience. The, the thing about it, I, this is obviously an indie, and you guys obviously have limited time and budget, but your performances, you guys are, are so good. I'm just curious, did you actually have a lot of time for rehearsal to do this, or how did you get ready? Um, I mean, we didn't meet until we got there. You know, we were like, it was peak pandemic quarantine, so uh, we like all quarantined. We got up there, we created a bubble, we socially distanced within the bubble, so it really actually was not a lot of it was not very helpful for us to be connected, but I think we like kind of did what we could. We like exchanged some emails. Taylor had like a hundred questions for me. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 We, we were very limited in what we could do with rehearsals, with being socially distanced. We were wearing masks and this is obviously something that is built on connection and, and the empathy of these characters that I think we had to build out this backstory. I've never played a character that had, uh, a, a marital relationship but a yeah. relationship that was this extensive that went on uh, a full decade and so we exchanged yeah. emails with just every question under the sun to know like did we ever have a pet what what is your favorite this what is the thing you don't like about this just to see if there are things that you could use um throughout the script throughout the filming that would show that there's a real backstory to these young characters yeah. uh this is a question for the three of you I don't want to be specific as to where this shot comes in in the movie, but there is a shot in this film that is very impressive in terms of how long it lasts, the emotional intensity between the characters, and I'm as I was watching it, I was very, very impressed. Um, can you guys talk about, without spoiling it, uh, the filming that? And Steve, if you could talk about, you know, directing that. It was 3 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, it was 3 a.m. Um, yeah, I think by that point, um, I, I mean, we were also, I don't know, pretty comfortable with, you know, with each other and who the characters were. And we were very lucky in the fact that we, I mean, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't lucky. We had scheduled it to be the last day of shooting. So in that way, we kind of, you know, we're, you know, we had left uh, the Angeles Forest and we actually had a day off um, where we did spend some time rehearsing for the very first time. And I think, though, I think that Amber and Taylor were, I think it was time for the characters to really express to each mm -hmm. other what the hell was going on, um, you know, and what the story was about and who they were to each other as characters. And so in a way, it was, um, while daunting in some ways, um, really kind of easy and enjoyable um, and hard to, you know, to watch and to create. Yeah, yeah that, that shot that you're talking about, this 
one take that was very long, it it felt the most uh, like going back to theater. You know what I mean? Like a, a, a long scene where you really go through a roller coaster. I mean, together individually and what that is. And obviously everyone knows shooting at night. Uh, this was the very last shot of the entire film as well. So as Steven said, we really built up to this point. Um, and we had a couple curveballs as anyone does shooting thrown yeah. our way, but it was, I think that was the most satisfying as well of any of the things because it felt very cathartic, like to kind yeah. of get that out and off your chest because for so long in the film. Yeah, it's like what away. everybody was building up to. We also only did it what, like twice. That I think is the, we literally did it twice and that's the second time. So it was, yeah, it was like a really wonderful thing to end on. Um, and at that point, yeah, like we were so familiar, I think, and familiar in our characters, familiar with how our characters interact with each other. I think that's like the most connected that they you ever see them. Um, you know, for much of the film, it's just them clashing into each other. And I think for once it's kind of them like moving together. Um, so yeah, it was really, it was maybe, yeah, my favorite. What was it like for the two of you guys, like the night before when you're, when you know you have to deliver this like kind of a performance, what is it like the day before? Are you sleeping at all? Are you like really in your head? Because there's a lot of pressure to d for that scene and that take. I'm actually curious to hear your response. I, I'm genuine. I was super anxious. Yeah, I was super anxious because we had been doing the whole thing. So there was so much other stuff to like give emotional energy to. You know what I mean? Like we only shot over like what, um, like four weeks or something. Mm -hmm. So it was like, to like be constantly just like trying to give and like, you know, it was very indie style. So just like picking up things and like shooting out ideas and like, what makes sense? Like, can we get this? And know that like to, I think kind of build up to this like, thing. Um, I felt like oh, I have not prepared. And I was super scared. Just yeah. to be really honest. Yeah. I, I think you always have a different routine for, for different characters. And like, I had a sort of a playlist for Walker that I would listen to all the time, but I just made, recording of all of amber's lines uh, i wasn't trying to act out. i just read them out and rather than try and say my lines with it i think i spent two or three days prior i would go to the gym i would go on walks just listening to it trying to wrap my mind around how i would be processing everything that was coming from her and then i knew my words were down so then just seeing what would flow out once we got up into well i guess you don't want to give it away into a space into where we're also trapped we're, we're trapped in the space that's another thing because it's, you know, I mean, both characters at certain points probably want to exit this scene, but there is no option for that. And I think that adds another fascinating wrinkle to that scene. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it, but I'm just going to say that I really loved the ending. Um, it's, it's, it's very good. I, I wish I could talk specifically about it, but that's for another time down the road. Um, I love talking about the editing process because that's where it ultimately comes together. So Steve, can you talk a little bit about what it was like in the editing room and what maybe you were nervous about, what surprised you? Well, I think, um, well, we had a great young editor um, uh, and we and Bella Gonzalez, our cinematographer, had shot beautiful stuff and the actors had, um, you know, you know, that delivered amazing performances. So really it was up to me to mess up. Like really it was up to me to ruin the film in the edit, um, actually, uh, because we had shot the film, I think, and it was in the games, they say. So it was really just having to rediscover it, right? To find it because, you know, I think also tonally, a lot of what we were able to experience in terms of the space between the characters when they weren't speaking and, and discovering gesture and, and how and expression um, and, and the way they reacted to each other when they weren't speaking, uh, it was really apparent on set, but then when we got into the edit, it was we had to then you know you have to recreate it and to to, to recreate space. You know, was a bit of a challenge um, because it was so organic and beautiful in real time, and then you have to figure out how to kind of reproduce it for cut. Um, but it was all there, and it was just about you know kind of finding the pace of it and the feeling of it um, while we were doing it. Uh, and it was of course difficult because we were never in the same room. So it was all on, it was all cutting, doing notes, cutting, sometimes zooms. And then finally, near the end of the process, we spent, we got tested and then went and spent like a couple of days in the same room together. Uh, my last thing for you guys, because I'm uh, basically out of time. Uh, what are you, what are you most excited for like audiences to see with this film? What do you really want people to know about it? 
Um, I think empathy, you know, I think um, it starts off at such an unhappy place. You know, it's a movie that's difficult in that way, that the characters kind of jump into the characters at their most unhappiest, um, both as individuals and together um, as a couple. And so I think, you know, we try to tell a story that ultimately is one of empathy and compassion um, and, you know, a, a kind of conversation about or portrait of how difficult it is um, to have a relationship and to be in love despite all of our romantic notions of it. And so I want people to go into that, you know, kind of conversation um, and just see how it reflects back uh, to them and how, how it you know, maybe applies to their lives. Uh, but, most, but most of all, um, I want people to be more empathetic toward each other and toward themselves, really. I want people to, because it's, it's incredibly hard to do so, and I think people are offended. Um, that most of all. Yeah, no, I, I agree entirely. I would say the complexity of the relationship, I think, is so beautiful in that we're, in film, you so often see binaries, right? Like it's a happy relationship or a sad relationship, romantic or unromantic. And in this, you see that it is everything that I think it's a more, not more accurate, but an honest display of what a relationship is. I, I feel like often when you and your partner, when you're seeing films, it's only a part of it. Whereas this, you really see a little of all of it. And I think that's what makes it um, so honest, at least to me, that's what connected so much. And I hope people uh, feel familiarity with it and it, um, and it connects. Yeah, I agree. I think um, hopefully the fun thing about this is that, you know, it's a story about people affecting each other and I hope that people feel affected by it. Um, and that, you know, you leave reflecting or having something to think about, you know, in your own life or in your own world, or even just creatively. It was such an interesting creative experience for us. It was very unique. Like I said, it was peak pandemic. It was a lot of like trying to work together as a team and um, that even if it, you know, hopefully inspires somebody to do that with their own. I have to stop there so you guys can go to your premiere. I'm just going to say down the road when the movie is coming out. Uh, more than happy to help you guys, you know, ask way different questions. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just going to say thank you so much. Congrats on the movie. I hope it's a big hit for you guys. Thank you, thank you very much. much.